As we turn now to digital defiance, we all know teens and technology go hand in hand and many parents set rules to limit use and keep their kids safe. But shockingly, teens are now smuggling burner phones and they're using secret apps to dupe their unsuspecting parents. One family, nearly torn apart by the deception, is now opening up to Daily Mail TV to warn other families about the problem. She said, one time you took a phone from me in 30 minutes, I had another one dropped off of the door. It's the latest teen rebellion, burner phones. They're no longer just the business on Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah. Or a primetime comedy storyline. Give me your burner. They've become part of the arsenal sneaky adolescents are using to sidestep parents trying to monitor their online activity. Over the course of four or five years, we probably complicated eight phones. Parents Patrick and Cindy Van Every say it was an exhausting hell trying to police their then 14-year-old daughter's cellular social life. We don't have enough hours in the day to read every text message or Snapchat or post. The first fight was about Snapchat. I secretly downloaded it, and when they found that on my phone, that was when I first got it taken away. That's when the family's phone wars began. Rules and contracts were drafted. I had to plug it in the room at 8 p.m. every night. That's when everybody seemed to get online. I felt really excluded. For teens, you take their phone away, it's like cutting off their arm. Without a phone, they feel isolated and detached, and then they're missing out on something. And like many teens, Jalen found a workaround. We call them trap phones. It's basically just like a phone that you would have in your junk drawer that like kind of works. It's just enough to log into like Instagram and Snapchat and talk to your friends without your parents know it. And Jalen got really good at the game. The best hiding spot I ever had was underneath my sink. I got duct tape and I made a pocket and I would slip the phones underneath the sink. <laughs> yeah, they never found those. Retired police detective and child cybersecurity expert Rich Wistocki warns. In almost every school in the United States, there is at least one kid selling burner phones out of their locker. Jalen was scoring old cell phones from friends, but other kids will purchase them at Walmart or T-Mobile and use gift cards to pay for minutes. These trap or burner phones don't have a number, but can connect to Wi-Fi. They could steal someone's hotspot, they could walk down the street, get on an open network. The down low phones took over their lives. It felt like we were kind of failing in the sense that we didn't have control over this. And when Jalen got a boyfriend. It definitely amplified the situation. The Van Every started finding compromising photos on her smuggled phones. I was like, I don't want y'all to see my boyfriend's private part. Beyond burners, teens are also using sneaky apps to hide photos. Go to your app store right now, type in hide my pictures. You're gonna see 10 or 12 different companies that allow your children to hide pictures and videos from you. It's a secret photo vault that's code protected and hidden inside the app. You are responsible to look in that phone and monitor what goes on that phone all the way up until they're 18. If things go sideways, you're left holding it back. Your kids may be angry up front, but they're not gonna resent you forever. Something the Van Everys know from experience because at 17, Jalen moved out to live with a friend, but she's since returned and changed her ways. I've matured a lot. Looking back at it, it wasn't worth it. And for more information to empower parents and educators on the dangers and deceptions of the digital world, check out BeSureConsulting.com.